What's up guys? We have some more Japanese goodness here today. Uh, gonna be kind of a slash German tool truck slash Amazon kind of hog and some of the stuff I had uh, already a couple months already. So I'm gonna bundle it all up in the one and call it a German tool truck haul. Uh, I know he's a German tool truck and he carries coking. So uh, keep that in mind, not just German tools. This guy is awesome. Uh, you cannot find it on Amazon Japan. You can get it from this guy. Best way to get a hold of him is Instagram. Uh, but to, here is his other contact information. Pause it here if you like. Uh, definitely saved me on getting one of these uh, Kokins. I uh, got one from my coworker also. And uh, this spark plug socket here. Uh, and the rest uh, I've got on Amazon Japan. Um, got this from the SEMA show, uh, visiting the vessel booth. Uh, this one, yeah, also, uh, Amazon Japan. Uh, this is all, I believe, 100% Japan. This might be partially Taiwan. Uh, don't get me wrong on it, but, uh, this, uh, definitely is a nice piece. So, I'm gonna start off with the socket that I got from the German tool truck. Uh, I did not know that they made these until I saw his post on Instagram. This is the Koken 3305PZ for Zeal. So this is gonna be one of those Zeal items this is their newer uh, lineup. The Zeal you can see has a tapered fit where the ball goes. So you have a nice tight fit on the uh, socket. Definitely ramps down so it, it's not gonna wiggle on you. It's a solid fit. That's the whole uh, ideology on the Zeal. But uh, with this tapered type of uh, fit here, you can literally get into a lot more places. Uh, let me show you what I use. Got one second here. This is what I've been using the AST SP1412 this 14 is for 14 millimeter and uh, it is shorter uh, let me measure this for you guys the ASC tool one is 63 millimeters two and a half inches and Koken is three inches almost, no, um, two and three quarters, 70 millimeters. And I think, I believe you can get this in a 16 millimeter for 16 millimeter spark plugs. So these are found in uh, BMWs, the turbos especially, and um, definitely a nice tight fit here. Very strong magnet, so it has a magnet ring there. So very common spark plug. Definitely a lifesaver here. You could put a, a wrench on it also, and you'll have a nice tight fit with the uh, extension that you use on it. Definitely a must have. The 3305PZ. Yeah, it's hard to read the stamping on there. Fully made in Japan. And then a 194, I don't know what that means, but definitely. Hit up the German, German tool truck or uh, Amazon Japan. And uh, still have use for this one. Has a rubber uh, boot on the inside. This is commonly found. Just search up SP1412 and it'll show up the AST. It's definitely got some use to it. Very thin. Still not a bad socket. And next up from the German, German tool truck, we have this. Koken, fully made in Japan. Also has the 194 on it. Nice uh, rubberized handle, hard rubber, more of a plastic type, all the way through with the metal. Um, it is the 2726Z-160. It also would have an L160 also if you're searching around for it on uh, Japan uh, Amazon. And the switch is nice and uh, Assertive here, it'll stay to one side. 
very flattened out here so you don't bump it. Chances of bumping it pretty slim. The, uh, yeah, the flex here, the ball uh, gets a little loose here and then locks here. And then uh, a little loose there, but uh, not bad. I can feel this staying like this for a while. And uh, here we go with the pressed fit on the hinge here. Yeah, pretty common with the Koken press fit. I believe Koken does not have a warranty. They believe their stuff is uh, subpar above uh, anyone else and uh, so strong that uh, they don't need a warranty. So keep that in mind with the Koken, no warranty. Their stuff is strong. It's a, uh, I believe a 36 tooth here. So you can definitely have strength on here. The uh, key figure here, this is so loose. You can just barely turn it. It's nice and loose. You don't have to worry about having a, a um, fine tooth. Just barely move it and it goes. So um, let's put on the socket right here. Very, very loose, very nice. You got strength, and since it's tight, nice tight tapered fit with the zeal, you can slightly move it and it works with you. That's their whole philosophy right there. That's the whole deal with Koken, right there. Got that nice quality. So definitely, love to experience that with these don't have much use yet because i just got this one super loose on the head it's awesome having such a quarter inch body head with the three eighths on it definitely got some strength on this nice long handle too um so i think that's about it on this one uh don't get me wrong on the 36 tooth i counted it and uh I believe it's 36. This is their highest tooth count. Made in Japan. Very nice. And here we have the Tone. It has a locking. A little loose. Not too bad. Nice Tone logo on there. Yeah, pretty strong. Won't let go. Here's the part number. It's the RH3. FCH Japan 197. And this has teeth to hold you in. Fully articulates, spring loaded, and uh, the teeth are a little more harsh on this one. May need some breaking in. Don't know yet, but it's not too bad. So it's got to. It'll hold on you there, right there, yeah. So it's uh, definitely gotta keep an eye on this one. I believe it's fully made in Japan. Kinda has some hints of Taiwan in it, but uh, uh, everywhere I've looked so far, it uh, leads back to Japan. Here is the, here's the case. Came in right here. 72 tooth. 122 millimeter. And that's all it came in. And um, yeah, not a bad ratchet so far. One of the smallest of the bunch. And definitely fit in the tight places with it. I'm gonna have to report back on this one. I like that it's full metal handle. I've been getting into the soft grips lately, but I've always been the, the full metal handle guy. Um, not much else to say about this one. Do like that it's locking. Pretty nice. Next up, we have the vessel. I don't remember doing a video on it. Uh, there is a video on Instagram where I used the uh, rubber gloves with the oil on it, and this definitely does have a grip on it. It does soak in the first uh, amount of oil that you use on it. And uh, then after that, it cleans off and stays with like a darker shade. It does have a very large handle on it. 
believe this is uh, taken off their screwdriver handle. And they have a roto head, I guess, that's has a smaller handle now that they, they made it a little smaller now. Um, let's see here. Their Cyclop is the closest I can compare it to. You can see the head is still slightly larger. Actually a lot there, you can see. But the handle's gonna be bigger on the vessel. But uh, not bad there, look at that. Let's look at the teeth here. Now the uh, wooden handle is composite, half plastic, half wood powder in there. Very smooth action there. Very nice. And let's put it on the uh, locking Vera also here. They're both locking. Very smooth on that too. It's a little bit more grittier. You got a nice flat button on that one, but not bad at all. Pretty nice. All right, with testing out the non-slip on it, definitely has friction to it. So the wood composite here does have some kind of a friction capability in there. It's hard to explain. It's pretty trippy. Especially when you got gloves on, it's just, it's gonna slip on you. So this is very interesting. Just, it just kind of stops. Love to try out some uh, screwdriver handles. Very nice. Here it is after cleaning it off. It absorbs it a little bit, but uh, you still got the grip. It seems like uh, it'll show some character with age. I would definitely love to take a look at it after using it for a while and get some age going on to it. Definitely a nice piece to have here. Very, very nice. HRH2-W. And uh, yeah, locking, a nice compact head on it. And uh, the proportion is definitely <laughs> a little bit off here, but uh, not bad. The switch, I think, switched on me a couple times, but uh, does have a positive engagement. On to the last three pieces here. We have the uh, Koken. Here, let me use the Koken on this one. So the Koken. Three, seven, whew, it's hard to read with the stamping on it. It's three, seven, five, six, Z. So this is a zeal. I got the zeal because uh, it's gonna go well with this zeal ratchet. And yeah, very tight fit right there. Super tight fit. Again, with the tapered fit on the uh, ball part, as you can see, very uniform and everything that the zeal. Very nice addition to this ratchet. I believe this is the bigger one. A nice grip on it. Very nice finishing. And uh, we have the Nepros. Nepros, the NBE28. There's only one size in this one. That's a 76, that might be a date code there. Super nice, fine mirror finish. Um, if you see my Nepros ratchet uh, haul, uh, definitely have this in there too. But uh, I didn't have a quarter inch ratchet to try it on, so let's try it on this uh, vessel. Nice tight fit, uh, not too bad. This is only one size, so this is what you get for the quarter inch. Not bad. And there's your Nepros mirror finish, the rubber ring. Nice to have different types. And last but not least, we have the Koken 2756. This is non-zeal, and I got it because uh, I do not have a zeal quarter inch yet. So works great with the uh, non-zeal stuff. Same deal there. Pretty nice. Good gap from the uh, ratchet there. So you can definitely get on in there. Once again, this handle might be in the way, but at least it won't slip on you. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, I don't want to go too long on this video. Um, Nice little Japanese haul right here. 
Once again, the German tool truck. Here's his contact information. Definitely get a hold of him if you want uh, stuff that's already in the United States and uh, you get a little faster shipping there. Although I hear Amazon uh, Japan is shipping pretty fast. You do have to sign in to Amazon um, and uh, you don't get Prime. Uh, if you sign into Amazon Japan, you have to fully sign up with your address and everything and pay for shipping Unfortunately, uh, Prime doesn't get you anything through Amazon Japan And it's kind of a pain in the butt because you have to sign out and sign back in but uh, You do get this nice uh, goodness here um, Pricing uh, I'll See if maybe I can put it in the description But uh, just leave me a comment if you want uh, pricing I'll get back to you hopefully within a reasonable amount of time. And uh, yeah, here it is. More Japanese tools and uh, more on the 3 8 head comparison. Uh, keep in touch with the uh, future on these. I'll get uh, more going on that and more going on a quarter inch comparison. Definitely uh, gonna have to get something together is uh, kind of all over the place with it <laughs> so yeah definitely uh hit the subscribe hit the like and on to the next one guys thanks for watching